Hello everyone, my name is Apica and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last video, we raided the Stonehenge Starman base and freed all these lovely people on your screen. In today's video, we're going to be going and checking out the Overcoming Shyness book to help the Tenda Villager people. I'm going to begin by using the Escape Mouse though. Exit Mouse, go! The mouse found its way out and there's a way for you to follow. Huzzah, that saves a lot of time. So, what we need to do now is go to Onet. And the Onet library will have the book we need. So why don't we go ahead and use teleport to go to Onet. I like to use teleport alpha in the circle. Nice, well done, me. Thanks, me. You're welcome, me. Okay, so Onet library, if we check the map, is um not on it. But it's in the top left corner. Top right corner, actually, not top left. It's kind of just top middle, actually. Yeah, it's kind of just doing its own thing. Okay, so we're going to make our way there now. We haven't been on the streets of Onet in a long, long time. It's nice. I missed it. Onet is always nice and peaceful. Onet, never change. You always signify the beginning of a great adventure. And it's always nice to come back. We know right where we need to go, so we don't need to bother talking to the librarian. Hi! It's not necessary to return the map now. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. Yeah, we're about uh, 18 years too late on that one. So, that's why I didn't want to talk to her. Let's see, this is the book we need, though. Should be here. There are books other than Overcoming Shyness. There are books other than Overcoming Shyness. There are books other than Overcoming Shyness. Dang it, I need the Overcoming Shyness book. Which means I'm in the wrong book room. Is it this one? They all look the same, so it's very hard to tell. You found the book Overcoming Shyness. Huzzah, we found it. Okay, so first things first is I want to buy stuff. So I am going to... Go back to Deep Darkness, because there was that dude who sells the multi-bottle rockets, and if you guys saw the last video, you know how multi-bottle rockets absolutely dominate. And I'm not going to be missing out on that. Honestly, Pooh, you can take that. The Eraser Eraser, like really? Just give it to someone. Okay, Jeff. Honestly, Pooh has the Brainstone. Do you want the Soundstone as well, and the Receiver Phone, and the ATM card? Uh, no, his inventory is actually not bad. This, this inventory is bad, though. But it's literally just stuff he needs. Okay, whatever. Um, PSI, teleport. I'm probably just going to go to Saturn Valley since I like Saturn Valley. It's efficient and easy and it's got everything we need in a very tight-knit area. Like, I can just go over here to the Saturn shop and withdraw, like, $60,000 or something. That's not the Saturn shop. You're the doctor. Where is Saturn shop? Up. Is it, is it up? Do you have an ATM? Does the hotel have an ATM? Please. I need money. You don't have the money. Okay, I think the money is up here, right? Like, if I were money, would I be here? I would. Let me talk to you. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. I need to withdraw. I've got $86,000. I will be taking, like, uh, 20. There we go. Okay. I now have $20,000 on me. Nobody tell anyone. People... I look suspicious when I have lots of money, okay? And why don't we go ahead and try doing the world's hardest teleport in the world. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I was so close. I was literally so close. Hold on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This is a challenge now. I need to go to deep darkness, though. I know that. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Okay, hold on. I have a, I have a different idea. What if... Okay. One more time. One more time. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Okay, what if I, I just need to keep... No, come on. Okay, hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Warp. 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 You're flipping kidding me. All right, we've arrived outside of Tenda Village. Nice, nice, nice. And I have bottled rockets. So, so many things. Hey, little guy. I got something for you. We're all shy. Rumor. I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Hey, hey, little, little dude. I got the shyness book for you. Book! Can fix shyness. Thanks. Relax. I'll read it to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I'll really take the time to read it to everyone. The leader of the Tenda tribe read Overcoming Shyness to everyone. Chat, chat, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some Tenda Kraut in return. Tenda Kraut is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Ness lends the leader of the tribe, Overcoming Shyness, and we get the Tendekraut. Awesome. And, uh, you know what? A good thing to commemorate getting Tendekraut. Everyone needs their picture taken. 
What kind of taken? Takes your taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for this memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Cheese. Wow, what a great photograph. I always back the fondest memories. Take care, dude. Alright. Hey, you. I have a happy little question for you. Apple Guy and subscribers. Apple Guy and subscribers. Are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not right, you can change it. We are Apple Guy and subscribers, 100%, no doubt. It does not pass my mind. We are Apple Guy and subscribers. Apple Guy and subscribers. Are you sure it's what you want? Are you happy with the name? Yes. Are you absolutely certain? Yes. Yeah, I thought you had made up your mind. Nice, dude. Okay. Um, do I need to heal? Not really. I need to go to the tender shop, though. Hello, tender shop. I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life. I'll give you something. Look at list. Wait. Wait, hold on. You only trade for Horns of Life? I can't... Okay. Oh, my lord. Okay. Okay, you only give Horns of... Oh, you sell... Oh, jeez. Horn of Life? I might need to pick one of those up, because you got some good stuff. Aren't you the ten aren't you the shop though? Item shop. And I guess you're a weird item shop. Okay. Hey buddy. Push the rock. Powerful I so show everyone. Wow, dude. Hup. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Good throw, man. So he's gonna uncover this bottom area for us and um yeah, why don't we go ahead and explore it a little bit? Okay. So under here, they have this rock that looks like a face. Good evening, I'm a talking rock, but the rocks around here don't talk much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth of ways ahead, in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock, it's important. Okay, I'll talk to the talking rock, just for you, dude. What we do have here is a lot of foppies. We remember the foppies, right? These are fobbies, with the letter B. And I didn't mean to run, I'm definitely not getting away. There's about a thousand foppies here. You're really gonna HP suck. You're really gonna brain shock. You're really gonna just- okay, you actually attacked. You're really gonna attack Jeff a second time. Brain shock didn't work. HP sucker. Didn't work. What's that say about you? Hmm, what's that say? Why don't we go ahead and just amp it up to fire beta? Why not? We'll just go for it, okay? And, um, yeah, you, really, you really don't have any good crowd control. Uh, let's start bashing him. Hopefully we can take him out with the two fire and... Yes, I subscribe, but don't know. Okay, I should. Should be fine. Oh, good, we hit some adjacents. Here, subscribe, Alpha. Way to go. See ya, Fobbies. Fobbios. Maybe if we get so many Fobbies, we'll get Fobbio on the screen. Nest now level 55. Oh my lord. Jeff's level 48. Oh my lord. And that's nice. Cool, cool. Alright, so. A lot of Fobbies here. A lot of young Fobbios. So, they're great. That's also not where I want to go. This is a very confusing cave if you uh, haven't picked up on that. There's places you can drop down and places you can drop down or not drop down. And there are things you can do to like despawn enemies probably. Come on, get out of here Fobbies. Okay, single Fobby. Why would you even bother really? Pooh level up to 48 in that fight. So that's neat. Oh, you're a spark man, aren't you? Also, there's another rock with a face. Face rock. Cool, cool. And you're also... I can't face another diamond enemy, I'm gonna be honest. And you're the same things I said I wasn't gonna fight before, but now you're back. One spark man. I can probably fight a spark man. I can back attack a spark man. That's nice. Ah, uh, you're a conducting spirit. I remember I fought you when I got to pink thunder... Whatever that place was called. Pink cloud? Yeah, I remember fighting them in Pink Cloud. They were cool. And I probably have to fight you for real now, don't I? Yep, Conducting Spirit. Okay, hit. And freeze. And... Bazooka. Not Slime Generate. And Bazooka. And freeze. Nice. Good combos there. I really should move the bazooka to the front spot of Jeff's inventory, because being able to just mash through the items would be nice. As opposed to having to, like, down right click again. It'd be nice. Hey, Paul's now level 53. Good job, girl. She got shield beta. Alright. Okay. Alright. And what do we got here? An IQ capsule. I wonder who needs to get smarter. Use on Jeff. Hey, he's smart now. Huzzah. The world is saved. He has intelligence. Nice. Okay. So. 
we're on a different part of the cave now. It's a very confusing cave. Give me this. A diadem of kings? hey -oh! You know who that's for. It's for Pooh, because it's an of kings item. I think this is headgear. Right? Uh, is it, it's an other. There's no headgear. Diadem. I don't know what a diadem is. But we're also missing the cloak of kings, and then the aforementioned sword of kings that I won't be getting this playthrough. Alright, I gotta go ahead and head back to where the start of this area was, because that is where progress will be. Jeff leveled up to 49 as I was coming down that ladder. My people are injured, so I'm going to make my way back to the start of the Tenda Village area so that I can heal up. And then I will be back when I am ready to actually do some slaying. Alright, we are now fresh and ready for the full cave. I just don't want to fight these guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm lazy. Hey, it worked out for me for once. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to be sticking with the right side wall here. I don't know how that was a front attack, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Fobby, you silly Fobby, you. You don't know what you're doing. Anyway, at the start of this episode, I actually forgot to say... I think I may have said it, I'm not sure. I stocked up on bottle rockets, so we are set in the bottle rocket department for any fights we might have. I actually have three on Jeff, and I put three on Pooh as well to serve as like a backpack, sort of, you could say. Paul's now level 52. We are just getting levels left and right. That is amazing. I have no clue why, but we are just leveling up quick and easy. So, so fast. All right, what do we have in here? There's a luck capsule. Okay, a luck capsule. I don't know who needs a luck capsule, so I'm just going to make Ness powerful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Luck? Who needs luck? I guess Ness needs luck. I don't know what luck does. Hello, talking rock. Thanks for talking to me. You're welcome. I understand it can be lonely sometimes not having anyone to talk to. So it's my pleasure to talk to you, Talking Rock. You know, I was just looking at my stats, and I do not think I got healed. Don't know why? Just, uh, something tells me I, I didn't get healed, did I? No. Okay, that's fine though, right? Please leave me alone. Okay, and then can I just sneak up on you, please? Thank you, and I can just run away. Because that is what all good people who play this game do. They run as much as possible from all the things that could attack them. Because that is not the way I play. Hey, present. What is this? A rock candy? Who needs a random stat? Pollen needs a random stat. Make it good. Speed by one? That's not terrible. As I said, guts is probably the worst thing for Paula, just based on my experience. But hey, she got speed. So, mm, not terrible. As I said, I said that already. I'm repeating myself now. A bottle of DX water. I know someone who would love to have that. His name begins with poop and ends with no P. Poo. Poo would like it. Is this... I think this is where I need to be. I hope this is where I need to be. It is not where I need to be. I'm climbing up the wrong ladder. I need to go over here. And continue around this horn. And then run away, run away, run away! And then run back. And then go up this ladder. This ladder is the ticket. This is the magical ladder that is going to save me from all my troubles and woes. Yes, it's clear. Oh, yeah, you tried. You tried, game. You really tried. It's not clear. You want me to think it was clear, but it's not clear. It still isn't clear. Is it clear? Clear! Bzz. Nope, not clear. Okay. Clear! Nope. Okay. Clarity check, vibe check, clarity check, vibe check. Not clear nor vibing. Please be clear. And no enemies. And one, two, three, go away. Oh man. Just give me like a minor, smallest amount of foppies you can give me. Smallest foppies you can give me. That's good. Okay, we did it. You just moved them over, game. Like, come on. That's okay, they're, they're... You can't just keep moving them over and expecting me to think they're gone. I'm smarter than that. That's an Electro Spectre. Whatever. Whatever. I'll take the Electro Spectre at this point. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I must uncover your eyes from the wool that I have put over them. This is no ordinary cave, and the Tendas don't have it blocked off for any normal reason. This is an extraordinary cave. It's a Your Sanctuary cave, but I'm not ready to fight it yet. 
Not, not yet, nay, nigh. I need to open this present and get a rabbit's foot first. Which Ness will use in this fight. Um, what does Paula want? Paula, you want a PSI caramel? No, you don't. Um, okay. Well, a couple life noodles can go on to Backpack Boy. And then Paula can give me the rabbit's foot. And then this is just a reminder for me to clean out people's inventories. Because Ness has things that he doesn't even have equipped anymore. So instead of charm coin, no, what is it? Instead of body, we can have the rabbit's foot. What does that do? That does nothing. That increases luck. Why would I need that? I don't know. What does Paula have? Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just do it, okay? This is a Your Sanctuary location. You finally got here. This is the seventh Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. I dare! And I'm pretty hot on Your Sanctuary locations, I'm gonna be honest. Now this guy, he's got a shield. So, gotta watch out for that. Just absolutely need to watch out for that. Um, why don't we go ahead and just throw out a shield? Why not, right? It didn't work on anyone. Okay, good job. You just... Okay, that's that's great. Love love the prayer, right? Just hurt ourselves in the prayer. Okay, electrical shock. Fank and badge deflected. Nice. And only 140. That's not terrible. Dodge quickly. He did hit it, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, geez, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um. Uh, is Jeff gonna go down? No, he's not. Okay. Hold on. I can I can chill for a second then. Okay. Who? We're gonna life up. Big life up to Jeff. We're gonna defend. We're gonna shoot off a second multi-bottle rocket, and we're gonna mirror. Why not, right? Hey, it couldn't turn into the Electro Spectre. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because he's a boss. Okay, let's get the life up there. Okay, the shield killer. That takes away shields. I don't know why that didn't work. It definitely should have worked, because we have shields that could be killed. Heavy bazooka this time. Gonna go. I mean, I don't need to save the bottle rockets at all, but I totally can. And the Electro Spectre is done. Third, first try in a row, I believe. Maybe it's fourth. I don't know. Ness level 57 now. Paul level 53. Jeff level 50. Pooh level 49. And now he's level 50. Everyone's in the 50s. Oh my lord. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, Electro Spectre. You ain't nothing but Electrospection to us. This is our seventh, your sanctuary location. It's called Lumine Hall. I wonder why. It's a hallway. And it's illuminated. Lumine Hall is pretty interesting though, so why don't we go ahead and explore it a little bit. I'm Ness. It's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be... Soon I'll be... Soon I'll be... What will happen to us? What? What's happening? My thoughts are being written out on the wall. Or are they? Ness saw a vision of his father holding him. Ness's sounds from recorded the melody of Lumine Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've got our seventh out of our eighth Your Sanctuary location. Why don't we take a listen to the soundstone now? See what it sounds like. Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. It is so nearly done. One more sanctuary left. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Earthbound. I do hope you've enjoyed. 
If you are inclined to do so, please go down and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment telling me you guys are enjoying the series if you are. Make sure to tell a friend about the channel if you are so inclined to do so. I will see you guys back here on the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, but until then, take care.